One night, my roommate Mac and I were in our apartment watching TV when his phone lit up. He grabbed it and stared at the screen, confused. Hey man, check this out, he said as he handed me the phone. It was an animated gif of someone in a subway station. I could clearly see the station, but not the man. He was too blurry. The station was totally empty, save the man facing the camera. His arm was moving back and forth at the elbow. He was waving. So, I said and handed the phone back to him. It came as an attachment, he said, part of an email address from no reply. Brady, I said, forward it to him and say nice try. An hour later, his phone lit up again. It's definitely Brady, he said, and handed the phone to me again. Another email from no reply with another gif of the man waving. In this one, the background was different. He was standing outside our building. I got up and looked out the window. No one. Brady's creative, I said. The next morning, I woke to my phone vibrating under my pillow. It was a group message from Brady. Nice one, he wrote. How'd you get the weirdo in my driveway? G-Maps and Photoshop? I walked over to Mac's room. Brady's claiming ignorance, I said as I peered in through the half-open door. Mac was hanging by the neck from the exercise bar across his closet doorway. I staggered sickly back into my room. My phone lit up again as I walked in. It was an email from Brady. Forward. Man. Waving.